What's up everyone, KRTUGO here, back with more F1 2021. And if you haven't noticed already, today we are actually doing something a little different. We've tried out online ranked play. So, five lap races online with other people as those two pretty much just take each other out of the race. And I get a warning for a collision that I didn't cause. But yeah, we're trying out uh, online play, see how it goes. Um, see what kind of results we can get today and um, as another thing you may have noticed is I actually have the racing line on and I only have that on because I'm not a hundred percent used to all the tracks within the game and I don't want to be that guy that doesn't know his breaking point into a turn and completely takes someone else out of the race because of it so it, it's more of a, uh, a respect thing for the other drivers as well, um, since I don't memorize or have the muscle memory of every track quite yet. I just I don't want to be that guy that causes a major incident to say turn one or turn two or vice versa. Yes, here we are. We are uh, currently in second place out of this two-man race, and. Going lap one, five laps to go, and he he just picked up a two-second penalty, which is, which is huge for us, because now technically all I have to do is stay within two seconds of him, and I win the race no matter what. Um, I'm usually pretty good at trying not to, uh, as we also set the fastest lap. Um, I'm usually pretty good at trying not to cut the turns, so I try not to uh, inquire those penalties. But uh, it, it does happen here and there. Um, sometimes I run wide, which uh, if you run wide, you run really wide. The game's usually pretty forgiving and uh, not giving you a penalty, which is uh, very, very nice. But yeah, um, if you cut it just a little bit, yeah, you, you get a warning. And after, I think it's three warnings, uh, you get a time penalty for it. So it is what it is, but yeah, as we uh, we gain up, we're only like three tenths behind now. He still has that two second penalty. He'd have to pit to get rid of it, and then he'd be behind us. Yeah, we're, we're starting to catch up to him now, and uh, this point isn't exactly a good overtaking spot. So I'm just going to kind of stay back, let him do his thing, and just stay behind him for now. I'm not going to push for the pass quite yet. Um, we're also kind of managing our ERS, so we don't want to use it all up. And as he makes a mistake and goes wide, now we're really caught up to him. Two tenths behind him right now, going to the last two turns. And it's lap two, so our DRS is going to be enabled to this lap. So as we pass the start finish line, we select the next That's fastest lap, lap, and we go next to him, going to the inside with DRS and ERS a little bit. And we pass him, and we pretty much secure the position by now. Uh, and it looks like he's going to go for the inside. He just dives up in the inside, no room. There, there's never a chance. And he spun himself out, and I think he actually calls some green some wing damage. Um, we're gonna skip through, but yeah, I mean, last lap, he's 35 seconds behind, still has the penalty, so he did not pit for a new wing, and that move was honestly reckless. That was on fire! It was lap three. Um, you, you just gotta be patient. And, and try to find a, a good passing point and pass the guy, as you will uh, see in this next race around Abu Dhabi, which is one of my favorite tracks, always has been. Um, starting in third position, um, going around here, the, the guy that uh, took himself out of the last race is right in front of us, so I just, knowing um, how he drives, I just decide to uh, stay back a little bit, let those two guys race, see what happens. As I get up nice and close to him, and he's uh, cutting turns again, and aggressively blocking, uh, never had the room. I mean, I was never going to attempt to pass him on the street, but yeah. Um, here, I'm just, I'm just trying to get some clean air for my when it comes down to braking, so I'm not 
messing up too much. He's taking out a bull art. It is, it is what it is. Um, so I just, just keeping my distance, um, trying not to let him uh, mess up my race as well. And we're, we're going into these turns, turn breaking nice and early, just leaving him distance as he finally makes his mistake. So he finally makes his mistake, and now that gives me room to push on and try to put uh, the guy up in front under pressure. And uh, this guy is, he's a good racer. He was clean throughout the races that I actually raced with him, and he was, he ended up actually sending me a, a message saying uh, GG, which I uh, much appreciated. And uh, yeah, it was, he, he was nice, clean, um, he actually did really well. Um, we're actually going to uh, skip to lap lap five because we, we played the patient game, and we just kind of waited, see see if he's using his ERS. Because as you see, we have ninety percent of our ERS left, and we just wanted to see if he used his, see if he catched up. And as you can see, his red light is flashing, so he's pretty much out of ERS, which puts us in prime attack mode. We can just go out and attack and get past him and see how far of a distance we can cover. So here we are right on him. We're going to have that DRS as well as we use mo all of our D ERS down this straight all the way to the end just to get that pass so and get, create that gap that we want because there is going to be another DRS zone and we want to have a big enough gap to cover his um, drag reduction system in this zone as well. Using that ERS again just to help defend from him having uh, drag reduction and covering any kind of moves he wants. As we're six tenths ahead going to this break stick, I set a purple sector two. And I'm going through here and he's six tenths behind us, eight tenths behind us now and it, the move is pretty much done. The race is pretty much uh, over as long as I don't mess up. So just gotta keep it clean, nice and tidy until we get to the start finish line and finish the race with about three lap three turns left. At this one is pretty easy. I think that's the best turn I've taken um, throughout this race. And then we have these last two turns and then down the main straight to win the race with a 9 tenth second gap when setting the fastest lap. Fire! So I, I really enjoyed that race. Uh, those were Two of my best races, as the lobby did uh, kind of get to populate um, these next, I'm going to say, two races, I think there are. Here we are at uh, Circuit of the Americas, which I I like this track. I mainly have to like this track as people get a false start. It was a bit of a long light, but it wasn't terribly long. But yeah, either... Either a false start or uh, just a desync for some reason. I don't know. Um, I got this guy in front of me. He's, uh, as you can see, he catches me out on how slow he is through his, his S's. And uh, it, it's, it's just not good for me at having all that speed in turns and having a slower car in front of you. Uh, yeah, it's, it doesn't end well. And we'll be able to see if I can make it. Oh, and as, as that guy spins out, and there's another guy that I guess spun out and then reset to the track. So we get two positions right there. People make few mistakes. I have noticed that when you go online and in ranked, uh, people have a tendency to make a lot of mistakes. Um, I actually, a lot of my mistakes were made in qualifying. Um, which is why I never started in, like, up top, because I always messed up my qualifying. Um, as that one guy picks up a drive through penalty, and just, uh, and that's, that's the guy from before, from the last two races, drive through penalty already, and we get, we back off there, didn't want to push it, didn't want to slide into him, and it calls an incident, just want to be safe, um, or just want to be clean. And you know, I don't, I don't want to race race with uh, people that are dirty. So I don't expect people to, uh, or I should say, I don't try 
to race dirty. I try to be as clean as possible. As we see going through these S's again, as he's slower and I just, I cannot react fast enough that time, damaging my front wing, pretty much throwing me off. We let Walsh by, um, who I think actually goes on to possibly winning this race. Um, but yeah, we let him go by because we have that damaged wing. Here we are going into the pits um, to get a new wing, get that fixed. And then we'll go back out and see what kind of uh, recovery we can make on this track. Um, this is actually my home track uh, since I do live in uh, America. And I really do enjoy that we actually have an F1 track nowadays. It, it's nice to actually have an F1 race here every year now. Exit, exit now. Um, and possibly two coming up? Because uh, I haven't looked too much into it recently, but I don't know if they're still in the works of having a, a race in Miami or not. But that would be, be kind of cool. Um, as we skip ahead to the next lap, lap four. Um, next guy is 30 seconds ahead. I don't really have... I'm not going to catch up to him. Um, this is pretty much just me going out here and trying to set the fastest lap. Just so I can say I had the fastest lap. Like, hey, I made a mistake, but hey, at least I have the fastest lap. Our gap to the car so in front is it's not too terrible. As I set the fastest sector one, and I go through that section, I feel like I could have went through there a little bit faster. I might have pushed the car a little bit too harder. Um, the setup I'm running on this is the setup I've been running all night is my Bahrain setup, which. Uh, you can check out, I have a, uh, a hot lap and setup video on my bar range setup. And uh, it's it definitely has way too much arrow for uh, this track. Um, one of the reasons why I'm so quick through those S's, I pretty much take them like just by letting off the throttle. Um, no braking or anything like that. Um, which wasn't how it was in the last game. I know normally taking those those S's you want to, it's like, uh, let off the throttle, and then as you get to the next one, it's a little bit of braking, and, and so on. It, they kind of get tighter each turn. So here we are, finally. We have the fastest Sector 2 as well, coming across the line, and we set a 133.8, I think that was, um, for the fastest lap, and then here we are going across the last turn, holding on to the fastest lap still, so no one was able to beat that, and we finish in fourth, or no, I don't, I don't remember what place I finished in, and I missed it, sorry. Hopefully you guys caught it, but as, as I said, Walsh, driver of the day, and I think he actually won that race as well. Here we are, qualified first, first time I qualified in a good position in Spa. And uh, lights go out, and we, we're heading down the main straight, and we get a pretty good start, but there's other people that got a better start and go to the inside, so we are going to go wide, and then we get bumped. We get bumped in the, the rear, and I, there's, the there's just a lot of, scrapes. yeah, not to make it any worse. I, don't, I don't know how to commentate when there's like 10 cars going off the track at the same time, um, but yeah, there's, Caution. Caution. there's a lot of, a lot of stuff going on around the track right now and a lot of people going everywhere I stay over to the right to let this guy by because I have no front wing and he has I don't think any damage it looks like but Check yeah your this MFD is uh, for a new strategy option. Jeff is now telling me hey you have damage confirmed. you should probably pit um but yeah so uh yeah, here we are going into the pits, and then this person up here crashes into the pit wall, and he didn't ghost quite yet, and there's a really tight gap, so I pretty much, I had to slow down so I didn't hit him. I didn't, I didn't know what else to do. I didn't, I didn't want to hit him and, uh, chance ripping my tire off, because that is a possibility, and I, I definitely don't want that. So here we are pitting for, uh, fresh tires and a new front wing. Um, we are currently in 10th. I think we actually come out in 10th because it doesn't look like... Release, yeah, release. Actually, we do. I don't even have to question that. 11th is uh, DNF, so they're out of the race already. We are in last place. 
So this is pretty much a recovery as we hit the pit wall on exit. I am not a fan of Spa's pit exit. You, you hit the pit limiter line, but you pretty much want to just kind of coast through it from what I've seen. As we just pick up two positions already. Um, but yeah, you want to coast through that turn, otherwise you chance hitting the pit wall. And then once you get through the turn, you can put the power down and go down the hill. So yeah, this is a uh, pretty much a recovery drive. We think the to see what we can do. Some slight damage, but nothing too and serious. Even though I did get a new front wing okay, that hasn't clear. fixed everything, as you may have heard, Jeff. Uh, yeah, I have side pod damage. I have floor damage. I have a lot of damage, and um, I definitely noticed it on the. Uh, in the game, I could I could feel it. I wasn't able to go as fast as I should be able to, and uh, it definitely uh, affected me. So my main goal at this point was to just try to stay as clean as possible while also pushing the car, because this is spa. Caution, caution. And from how people were driving, a lot of people were making mistakes. Um, as you saw, that guy made a mistake. We made up another position there, up to 7th position um, on our ending, our lap 2, going into lap 3. Your next guy is 17 seconds ahead of us. We can now use DRS. DRS um, now available. But yeah, and Spa is, I'm not going to lie, it is a tricky track. It is a high speed, low downforce track, which makes it very, very difficult because Trying to get a setup to balance that, especially being able to take this turn flat out, um, is very, very difficult. Um, I know uh, the setup I used in my Breaking Point series, I, I, was, I wasn't able to take those turns flat out as we move up into 6th position because someone else has uh, made a mistake and uh, crashed into the wall it looks like. Um, but yeah, I wasn't I wasn't able to take that flat out. Uh, I had to kind of lift up off just so I wouldn't lose the back end. So I do know that for when it's time for me to the underbody's make taken some a, damage. Uh, you may start to notice it. Thanks, Jeff. Um, as we as I go to uh, actually make my setup for Spa, I'm definitely gonna make it to where it's stable and drivable. Um, to where you can take that that first section down down and up the hill flat out and not have to worry about the back end being too twitchy. Um, the track is clear. Green flag. That's, obviously that's a lot of time to gain if you can take that flat out. And having a little bit more wing isn't a terrible thing because it also allows you to take turns faster as I back end gets out a little bit and that might have been because of all the damage I have to the side pods and the floor but um, I don't know as we we check again I have moved up to P4 and yeah P I mean P5 my bad we've moved up to P5 and it is lap four so we got this lap and the last lap left to go and I don't know how many more positions we're actually going to be able to gain. We've been uh, running with a damaged car since lap one. Hasn't been the best race this one. Um, who knows what would have happened if uh, we wouldn't have had that turn one incident. Um, I was I was just buried in the middle of chaos pretty much. I had people on the right side, I had, I had people that I was trying to avoid, Yellow flag. and then uh, and then I had a, a just trying to uh, avoid a person from my left, uh, getting bumped in the rear, pushing me a little wide, and it, it, it was honestly a nightmare turn one, um, which you, you never want to see is turn one. As I just make a mistake and damage my front wing a little bit. Um, 
yeah, this this game is definitely brutal if you make a mistake, um, especially if you're running simulation damage. It is it is very very difficult. A, a little tap can damage your wing, and even the little bit of damage can affect your car a lot. I've noticed. Uh, I had one race where, from from what it looked like, I was missing a little piece of my front wing end plate, just, just a little piece, it wasn't nothing major, just a little tiny piece of the front wing end plate, and I was losing about a second a lap because of it. Um, so yeah, the, the little bit of damage you accrue in this game affects you a lot. You pretty much, um, unless you have like five laps to go, and it's gonna cost you more time to pit than it would to stay out. You're, you're better off pitting. Um, but yeah. This game is, is rough. But I also... I also enjoy that. Because then you gotta try to race as clean as possible so you're not getting that damage. And it, it makes it more realistic. Um, and it makes it more enjoyable to me, I think. I like a more realistic sim. And this is F1 2021 is is definitely a uh, caution. It's a big caution. improvement over F1 2020. Someone's come off ahead um, of As we are catching P4 right now, I think they might have some damage because they seem like they're going a bit slow. Green flag. Looks like they don't even have a front wing at all, and they're just they're trying to fight us. Which, like like I said again. I, I try to be respectful online, I hope I get the same back, and that that's just, really? You don't have a front wing, you can't take that turn flat out, why even try? Um, but yeah, that is it for that race, and that is it for this video. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time.